have learned that tense is about time and that verbs change depending on the time of action or state. So we have to look at a verb to understand its tense. We have already learned about the simple present tense and the simple past tense. Today, let us learn a little bit more about tenses. What will I do tomorrow? We shall go for a picnic tomorrow. My father will drive us to the spot. My mother will pack sandwiches for us. We will swim in the sea. My sister and I will make sand castles. Our friends will join us later. So which are the words which tell us about the actions that I will do tomorrow? Shall go, will pack, will drive, will swim, will make, will join are all the verbs that tell us about actions that will happen tomorrow. So all these verbs are in the simple future tense. Let us learn some more examples of the simple future tense. I shall clean my room later today. So this sentence is telling us about an action that will happen in the future. So this sentence, I shall clean my room later today is in the simple future tense. Now how do we form the verbs in the simple future tense? Let us see. Let us read the sentence again. I shall clean my room later today. What is the verb here? Shall clean is the verb here. This is showing us a future action. And how do we form the verb shall clean? What is the base verb here? Base verb is clean. To form a verb in the simple future tense, we use will or shall plus the base verb or we use will or shall with the base verb to form it in the simple future tense. You must remember that we use shall only with I or V. So I shall clean my room later today or I will clean my room later today both can be used. But we use shall only with I or V. So how do we form verbs in the simple future tense? We use will or shall along with the base verb. It will rain next week. This sentence is giving us a prediction that it will rain next week. So this sentence is in the simple future tense. And how have we formed the verb will rain? We have added will to the base verb rain. Next month, she will be five years old. What is the verb here? Will be. And how is it formed? We have added will to the base verb be. So next month, she will be five years old is telling us something that will happen in the future. So this sentence is in the simple future tense. They will have an early dinner today. Will have is formed from the base verb have. It is telling us something that will happen today but later during the day. So, they will have an early dinner today is in the simple future tense. I will do my homework tomorrow. What is the verb here? Will do. And it is formed from the base verb do. So, I will do my homework tomorrow is telling us something that will happen later in the future. 
So this sentence is also in the simple future tense. You will go and apologize. Now there are many verbs in this sentence. Let us identify them. Will go is a verb and apologize is also a verb. So you will go and apologize. Here you cannot say you will go and will apologize. You usually use will just once. So you will go and apologize. Will go is formed from the base verb go. And apologize is used as it is, as the base verb. So you will go and apologize is giving us an instruction that we have to do in the future, later than now. So you will go and apologize is also in the simple future tense. Now you have learned some examples with the simple future tense. Can you fill in the blank with simple future tense? Rick dashed the room for his brother's birthday party. What are the options given to us? Decorates, decorate, will decorate. So what will be the correct answer here? Will it be decorates? Rick decorates the room for his brother's birthday party. Now we know that to form a verb in the simple future tense, we use will or shall and the base verb or the verb which is decorate here. So, will decorate will be the correct answer. So, Rick will decorate the room for his brother's birthday party is the correct answer here. Can you identify the sentence in simple future tense? I will swim in the competition tomorrow. I swim every Sunday. I swam in the competition last year. Which of these sentences is in the simple future tense? We know that the verbs in the simple future tense take the form will and then the base verb. So in which of these sentences do we find that form of the verb will and the base verb? I will swim in the competition tomorrow. So will swim is in this sentence. So this sentence I will swim in the competition tomorrow is in the Simple future tense. Do we find this form of verb in any other sentence? I swim, I swam. We do not. So, none of these sentences are in the simple future tense. So, what have we learned today? We have learned that we use a verb in the simple future tense to show actions or state at a certain time later than the present time which is the future or for a prediction. Now you can identify sentences in the simple past tense, in the simple present tense as well as the simple future tense. We will learn more about tenses soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, 
personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.